Okay, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. And uh, yeah, it's been it's been two days. I haven't made a video for two days. You know, first thing that I want to talk about, you know, you know, look, can you see that? Like my microphone is actually like, hold on, let's see it. Oh shit, look at that. Look at this, look at this. Oh man, look at this. <laughs> my mic, I just kind of figured out this. My microphone has like a, uh, you know, <laughs> circling lights going on. It's a little bit distracting. Okay, hold on. Okay, I, th I think this is good. I still don't want to turn on the light, but yeah, uh, I haven't uh, uploaded a video for like two days. And, uh, you know, this is a very, uh, oh my God, I miss this so much, man. <laughs> I miss this so much. All right, there's, just, uh, there's a couple of things I want to, you know, get over here uh, in today's video. Uh, first thing is that uh, the reason why I didn't make video is not really because I burn out or like anything like that. Like I will never burn out on, on this. Trust me. Like I can do this as a, I can do this all day, right? I can do this forever. So the reason why I didn't make video is really because uh, you know my friends they they you know we we just hung out in a different town, you know, very close to my city, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Like you know, I think today for me, like when you're watching this video, it's probably also Monday for you, but definitely like for me, it's just Monday in the morning. So I just got back home like uh, last night, and I I I wanted to make a video last night, but I just couldn't do it because my just mentally you know draining by. I mean, that's the thing, man. That's the thing. I I always kept saying, like, you know, the difference between introverted people and extroverted people. You know, I am one of those introverted people. So every time when I go out with my friends or just hang out with them for like, I I I hung with them like this time I went out for like three days. So oh my god, it was it was fun. I'm not blaming my friends. I'm not saying that, you know they're bad people. Like no, they're it was very fucking fun. But it was straight up like you know almost three days, and we had a lot of fun, but. I was just mentally, you know, <laughs> draining for no reason. And when I got back to home, all I I didn't even want to talk to anyone. I don't want to talk to anyone. I didn't want to talk to myself. I just kind of just fucking lay down there, just you know, enjoy the quietness, you know, and the silence. That's really what I did last night. So that's why I didn't make a video last night. But now I think I'm fully back, you know, full charge, all back, you know, all the social, you know, battery stuff is all back, baby. I think it's a hundred percent at this point. I don't know about that, but based on the way that I'm doing now, I feel I feel pretty good. Uh, I, the whole energy stuff, the floating is pretty goddamn good. All right, that's the first thing. The second thing that I really want to talk about is really, uh, oh my God, there's a few different approach on this whole things. Uh, I just want to focus on this one thing that does not really, ha that has nothing to do with me going out with my friend, but it was very fun though. You know, it is really <laughs> just about that, but it's really about, uh, Recently, I started to, you know, I, I started to learn coding. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's just coming out of nowhere. But I just really want to bring that out because I think that is very important to let you guys know as well. Uh, I've been learning coding for in the past four days. <laughs> yeah, four days before I went out. And pretty much like the, the last video, the day the I made the last video, it was the day where I started to just, you know, messing around with coding a little bit. And uh, for any of you guys who never learned, you know, coding or not those like, you know, software engineer and stuff like that, you really probably have no idea about what is what am I really talking about? Uh, pretty much, uh, I'm not going to get into the coding stuff that much. This is not like a very uh, strong technical uh, coding, you know, how a beginner learns that stuff because I'm, I'm a beginner. I'm a, I'm a purely ass beginner. I'm not going to go into that role. What I'm going to talk about today is really about my perspective after knowing after doing a lot of survey and after doing a lot of research about how to learn this uh, new skill quote unquote programming coding whatever you want to call it and i found a lot of very like a a lot of similar overlaps between uh when i was learning uh human language and why and now i'm learning I'm, I'm trying to learn computer language and that is the one aspect that i really find a little bit fascinating uh, I don't know if you guys any like learn any programming language or not. Uh, like I'm just gonna give you a very simple, uh, you know, example about the difference, dif the dif the difference, and also the similarity between those two things, right? Natural human language and the computer language. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing that because oh my god, because uh, I I always saw that I I wasn't those type of people who will learn you know, coding, because I thought coding really involves with a lot of, you know, math and all the numbers 
and a lot of the like logical thinking and logical problem solving, which I think still at this point, I really don't know if that's the part of the thing that I'm good at or not, because I also mentioned a lot of things about, you know, in my past video where it's like a choosing something that you pretty naturally good at, right? Just knowing something that you're good at. And I saw that I was, you know, I, I think I'm good at like, you know, just perceiving, uh, you, you know, emotional stuff, right? Because uh, I, I Google a lot of things. I Google a lot of stuff like before making this video, man. Let, let me go uh, give you the example. I learned, I, I literally Google like language, human language versus computer language, right? Programming language, which one is harder and which one is easier. And pretty much the generalization of uh, opinions on the public is really about, uh, you know, natural language, natural human language is way harder compared to, you know, computer language. In, in the, before I was going, I had some sort of idea about, you know, maybe that's the case, but I, I learned English. So I, I, I thought, I thought that, yeah, English is easy for me. It really depends on, you know, different people. But I really don't know, like, a programming language, you know, a lot of people think programming language is easier, but programming logical behind that stuff is harder. And I think that's really the point uh, that I'm trying to make, which is, you know, when, when it comes to these two things, I, I just find a little bit, how do, how do, even, how do I even describe it in, in words? Like, hmm. Just put it that way, right? When when you talk to people, right? I, I'm going to give you like very, you know, technical stuff. I don't think this is technical at all, right? Like when I give you something, like I'm telling you, I'm telling you, for example, you're a person, right? And I, I want you to do something. Right? I just say, hey, man, go go get me, uh, you know, a couple of water, you know, go over there to do that. You don't. I don't have to say go over there because, you know, we all in this like a empty space where there's only one can and that can full of water. So I said, hey, man, go get me some water. And you know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't have to give you some specific and very structured and very plain uh, indicator to to go to, to let you do that. You can just go out. You know exactly what kind of can we're talking about. You know exactly where to get the water because that's the only re in the source of water. And you go get, get that. But, you know, when it comes to computer language, the most in my opinion, in my understanding, I'm probably getting, you know, I probably get it wrong here, but like pretty much like you go out and pretty you stay with your computer and you have to say, for example, this, this can is literally like in, in the left, in the in next, next to you in the left side for like, you know, five meters. And you have to tell these computers, right? Turn your head to the left and walk five meters and grab, you know, use your, use your left arm to touch the bottom on the can and then go down, you know, use your left arm to go down to the side a little bit and put your hands to the left angle for like, you know, 90 degrees and then grab the water and left your, you know, arms go up and then go back and then go back, turn right to the fucking five meter or anything like go back to uh, go walk in the five meters. And then, and that's how you do this like computer language. I, I, I think like, you know, it is very different though. And uh, I, I'm just, I'm all I'm trying to say is like, I'm here, uh, uh, this video is pretty much about me, you know, being gathering a lot of information on how to learn how to code and stuff like that. And uh, the uh, and because I, I learned English and I think I have some sort of a experience when it comes to learning something different, right? Because I learned something different before. And the difference now is very fucking vague because you know, when it comes to human language, the, 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 the hardest part about human language, a lot of people say is that, you know, there is no specific uh, structure rule that you have to follow. Like you can be very incorrect and people still get you because that, that is the part of our human brain. That's how we function. Because for example, now I speaking a lot of grammar mistake, right? I probably just don't give a fuck about grammar at all or like what kind of word that I use is the appropriate one or is not appropriate one. I don't give a shit, but you still understand me. And that is the beauty that is the why I think human language for me is way easier compared to, you know, programming language because I'm not like I wasn't very good at math, you know, while I was in the elementary school, <laughs> you know, I just not, I don't know if this is the teacher's problem or not, but because I don't want to really define myself by purely saying, oh, I'm just good at like emotional stuff. I'm not very good at logical stuff because I don't know. I, I thought I knew maybe that is still the case. I, I you know, I still have to like take a couple, you know, I still have to take a while uh, by learning coding to really see if I'm really just good at like, you know, logical or also emotional stuff or not. Because, you know, sometimes that I do see that 
like after being speaking for so long, after being making video and been talking to people for so long, that I do see myself sometimes I'm trying to make a very strong and structure and a very logical, coherent, in my opinion, a very strong argument when it comes to, you know, you know, conveying my ideas into, you know, a language into English that I want to speak to you. And I think I'm doing a very, I'm, I'm doing the best I can to really perform this a task in my head to really speak because you know for, for in general speaking right a lot of people don't take don't think like speaking a human language is something that that just oh you, you just these it's just the thing that we all do it is it is the thing that we all do you know don't get me wrong it is the thing like you can definitely tell like a uh, people who are like uh not who never went to school and they still have that some some sort of a uh, you know uh instinct the urge to speak, right? They, they probably don't know the characters and probably don't know how to write anything in their language, even in their mother tongue, right? But they still have the capability to to speak. And that's the instinct. But there's a very big difference between how do you speak? It's the same shit goes to the programming stuff I, I see from like a programming community. A lot of people say, hey man, don't memorize the fucking programming language because programming language is fundamentally different from programming because programming is really about not only understand the language because for sure you have to have the you know the the programming language in order to program whatever the fuck you want but by only understanding programming language it's not enough for you to really just become a you know for quote unquote great programmer or just do something that you want on the program want you know you, that you want to do and fundamentally you have to really just have that sort of like a very abstract concept you know concept about program and that is the most essential stuff about programming and i think the same shit goes to like you know natural language you know as well because for sure you have you don't have a lot of room to you have a lot of room to make a mistake right like you make whatever the fucking mistake you want as people still find a way to understand you you know more or less even for a beginner like for example if you're learning japanese or you know korean or like russian and you know you're half-assed at this point you're just learning for like two weeks and you try your best to learn to, to to speak all the characters that you learn in this language and the native speakers somehow still find a way to understand you before you even finish the whole fucking sentence right they still can do that but that that does not apply to program but it doesn't mean that is not the same thing maybe they just have a very different way of approaching this be ap approaching this stuff and the, my my problem when it comes to this is really about First of all, I know exactly how to learn a language because, uh, you know, comp comprehensible input is the, the fundamental, you know, thing that you have to do in any language you want to learn. Like first, you need to get input. You know, that is very different from learning a lot of other stuff. Right? When you want to master some skill, the best way to do it is by doing it, right? You, you got to do a lot. You got to practice by practice a lot of stupid mistake by making a lot of mistake in order for you to get better in that stuff similar don't get me wrong same shit goes back to you know learning a human natural language as well but the difference between that is really about when you're learning a human language it is very necessary for you to get a lot of input by doing nothing but purely just getting uh, you know absorbing a lot of information from that language for you to be able to have the kind of structure in your head then you can probably speak in that then you can practice right you gotta get an input and then you fucking do the output that is natural or that is the most efficient order oh my god the wind outside is pretty goddamn crazy but the structure right here is really about you know getting input first and outputting later that is the most efficient and fastest way that you can learn any fucking human natural language there's no other way around uh based on basically what i see from the people who are pretty good at, you know, natural language and other language, right? All they did was, you know, uh, getting a lot of input. Then that accumulation could be taken for like years. You know, you could, you got to really accumulate a lot. And there's like a theory saying like, you know, you only need two, 20 hours to know the basic of that, you know, language. we're talking about natural, you know, our language, not computer language. And then you need to take another like 100 hours to be able to really just basic communication in that language. And then you need to take like 10,000 hours from for that. That is necessarily true. And so that is like the thing right here. 
But in when it comes to computer language, because I don't understand it, right? I don't know how the fucking I don't know how it works. And basically, what I see is really about the different purpose of it, right? Like first of all, there's like a, uh, you know, what is that called again? Objectively, right? Objectively, right? The 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 the, the right way to do it, which is like you know, human language. You gotta do it because uh, you know, you gotta do you gotta get an input, and then you gotta get a, you know, you gotta do the output practice. And you know, computer language like you don't have to do a lot of input for for sure. You have to learn the you know all the stuff that you can on, on, on this like you know syntax, all the language stuff in this computer. But it's not necessarily a big proportion as similar to human language because when you come to computer languages, there's nothing much that you can get comprehensible input because the whole reason why you're doing comprehensible input in human language is really about. You know, human language has a lot of fucking big vocabulary. There's like a lot of words. That's why you gotta do a lot of input and a lot of different way of expressing different things in different cultures in different language. And that's the reason why you gotta learn how to, you know, how to really do that, right? But that is a very different things when it comes to computer language because basically what I see is there's not a lot of vocabularies. In a computer language, it doesn't matter, like you know, C plus plus, Java or Python, whatever the language, they don't have as much vocabulary and grammar compared to human language, and that is the first thing. And second, the reason why they design for different reasons, and that is very about depends on you know is, which one is difficult, which one is harder, which one is easier, really depends on you, right? Depends on me, right? So why I say you know I think human language is easier for me to learn is really about I I have already spent a lot of time and I all I I just prefer this way of doing that right I just don't like a structure rule to follow、uh, that's the reason why I fucking learn English because I don't have to follow shit right that's the reason why I'm doing this channel because why I'm on my channel to speak you, you know I I know there's gonna be people you know some people they're gonna judge. But I don't give a shit at this point because my channel, my video, my rule, and my rule is no rule, <laughs> and that's why I like it. It's free. It's free to express whatever you want. And once you stop thinking about the rule, you can really express a lot of abstract ideas into a coherent sentence. And in the process, I will get a lot of satisfaction. And that is the like that is the essential reason why I make a video. Right, when I really spoil down to like the detail reason why I like it is because I love conveying my ideas. Even that is the most generic, you know, generic. Fuck, I just missed part. Like it's been like three days. I haven't spoken any English, and my accent just got a little bit, a lot, a little bit special. I got a little bit, you know, you know what is that word again? Uh, fuck, I forgot. It's you know, got a little bit, you know, loose. Right, my English. Sorry for that. I need to take a little bit of time to really recover from that. And that's one another thing that I really want to talk about that I think I will touch on later. But yeah, let's go back to this. So that's the reason why I like it, right? Because it has a lot of different things. That, that's why I'm saying that it depends on different people. And when it comes to computer language, oh my god, man, that one is different, man. Because it doesn't have a lot of vocabulary and it doesn't have a lot of you know grammar stuff. So it means that you don't really have to do a lot of Comprehensible input because there is nothing about comprehensible input on you know programming language. You don't have to do any comprehensible stuff because it's not really about, it's not really the same thing. So I couldn't apply the same shit that I learned, the same principle, the same method that I learned from learning natural language into learning computer language because it is fun. Sure, you no, know, in the English language, they all call language. But it is not the same shit when it comes to the actual stuff. It's still a little bit different. And now the question that I have is really about: so the comprehensible input doesn't work in you know logical computer language. So what works is purely I see the most uh the thing that I can see now is really about you know you gotta really I gotta really give myself a very strong reason why I learn it. If I really you know learn if I really want to take this shit a little bit seriously. And the the only way that I can do is、uh, that I can see it now is like by building stuff. I see a lot of、uh, a lot of people saying like I I have a I have a student man I asked I had this conversation with, with my student and I asked her like after I decided to learn programming I say hey man why why do you, oh my god that's the perfect example 
that student that I'm talking about is the student I think you heard about before. If you're a long time viewer, like she, she she's trying to learn English, but she's pretty good. I don't know if she, she's pretty good or not, but she's you know she she knows how to code, right? She knows how to code, and she works as a programmer in one of the companies, and she makes good money. And、uh, she's you know the reason why she's my student is because she's trying to learn English, and she's not very good at English. And I say I ask her like you know hey man since I wanted to learn how to program. And can you tell me like、uh, what's the stuff like that? But the the difference now I see is like I think before when I was having the conversation with her, I say, hey man, I I think programming stuff like that maybe I'm just new to this, but I think it's very difficult. But I'm not gonna give up to that. I just saying I'm just stating what I see, what I think about, right? And I think that that shit is very difficult. And she's like. Oh yeah, it's it's the same thing for me for English. Like you know, she's been like a fucking a year in the past trying to learn English with me, and I genuinely just think that she's very struggle and that she's using the wrong mindset and wrong approach on language because she thinks that when it comes to learning English, it's all about the same things. When it comes to logical stuff, you know, there there has to she she likes memorization, right? She likes memorize a lot of stuff. I don't like memorize anything. Like you can tell, there's like where the Work different type of people, and she's she thinks she enjoys like the reason why she love she she does coding is because she love she likes problem solving she likes solving a lot of problem, and I tried it like I I've been only like programming for like a couple hours in my opinion like couple hours, and I I I I asked ChatGPT to give me some very simple uh project or thing that I can build. And、uh, I didn't even bother to learn the basic shit. All I can do now is like, a, like I'm I'm learning Python. I'm learning Python. So I like print and just hello world. <laughs> and that's it. Like very simple stuff. And when ChatGPT is thrown, like I ask ChatGPT, like, hey man, can you can you give me some like a small, very simple, uh, structured, uh, games that I can make, like text game that I can just run in, inside of the you know PyCharm console. And、uh, he, they will give me like a very,、uh, you know, in Chat 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 GPT's opinion, the most easiest one for me. And I still find a little bit of struggle to do that. And I say, hey man, can you give me a, like way simpler stuff? And then what I find the most satisfying from this whole process, like、uh, you know, when Chat GPT gives me the, you know, the what is that fucking call? It's like when you play like uh, uh, Witcher Three, right? And Baldur's Gate Three, and the Detroit Become Human, all the like story driven game where we, where the player has to have a lot of choice to make, you know, pre- pretty much the story. And I asked ChatGPT to do that for me, and、uh, I f- I build a whole shit. I build a whole mini game, a like text interactive story game, where like you know, hey, now you enter in this,、uh, you know, the river. Now choose first step,、uh, cross the river or stop in returning. Stuff like that, and I can just go on, go on with that for a long time. I, I did my, I, I, oh my, oh my god, this shit is great. I love doing this. I don't know what's like, what's the you know satisfaction from like problem solving, because I never, I did, I, I haven't had a taste of the satisfaction from problem solving, because generally speaking, I think that's the reason why I don't like math when I was in the school. <laughs> I just don't. I'm not a big fan of problem solving. Maybe I'm wrong here. Maybe you know, in the future, I still like it because I'm just very new to this programming.、Uh, pretty much, I can do the most basic shit. That's it. Most basic shit. I did not even bother to learn all the like vocabulary, all the dictionary about you know Python or anything. I just try、really、to get into it because I know the only way to learn this, the only way to get better at this, is by doing something, by building something. And I did it, and I felt great. And she suggests me to. You know, memorize all the you know stuff, and she said, "Yeah, yeah, you gotta really memorize all the stuff. You know, better watch some tutorial on YouTube." I said, "Yeah, I watch. You know, by the way, I watch a lot of tutorial on YouTube about programming stuff, and I find that shit a little bit more of a how to say that the same stuff that I encountered when I was learning English in the beginning. Like I, I watch a lot of videos about other people telling me how to learn English." And if you if I kept doing that, I didn't really have a lot of time to actually learn English. And then in the end, I just kind of all right, fuck it. Let's just go to YouTube and let's just watch some videos. Not learning English video, but just you know English spoken entertaining video that I enjoy. Right? For example, I I stopped watching how to learn English, and instead I start watching like you know Joe Rogan. 
you know, and I started learning, like, I started watching a lot of, you know, a streamer and a lot of stuff. And when I started watching that and listening to that, sure, there's still a lot of difficulties, but the whole thing became more of a, you know, process on its own that I felt there's some sort of progress going on in my brain that I can actually be able to, you know, absorb all the, you know, the knowledge, the, the, the vocabulary, the grammar naturally by doing that instead of just watching how to learn stuff i, th I think the same shit goes to, to you know trying to learn programming by watching a lot of tutorial videos I, it's not really about programming at all it's really about by learning anything i'm not saying that you shouldn't be really just you know getting your getting your head getting your toes into this stuff a little bit you should do that because uh you cannot just go into anything by not knowing anything at all so you gotta know a lot you gotta know as much as you can before you enter this new thing that you try to do. Doesn't matter what. And then in the end, a lot of people find like a most like a lot of people they just kind of trap in this state where they only knowing a lot of stuff. They don't want to get in anymore. They don't want to do the actual things. And I think that's the problem. I think the problem that, that a lot of people have is really that they try to memorize, they try to prepare a lot of stuff. But overall, general stuff is like you already know enough. Right, you already know or uh, or enough. I did not even know that much on programming. I just basically watched a bunch of video about programming, and then I just get in there. I still don't know shit, and then I just I just ask ChatGPT, "Hey, ChatGPT, tell me the most fucking simple code that you can give me." Right, and they say, "Yeah, just say print and hello world, and the, it, it will just run. It, it will say hello world." Also, also the the print is like showing something, letting computer show you something, right? I still don't know that may be wrong, but it, it seems that's the case. And in that process, I see myself understanding a little bit more compared to what just watching a video all, all day long. So that is the very difference between like, uh, you know, watching and like, doing, you know, alert learning human natural language and, uh, you know, and the uh, fuck and the computer language, right? And uh, that is very different, and I found it very fascinating. And the, the reason why I still haven't told you the reason why I'm learning this is really because, uh, you know, uh, I I told you guys before, right? Like, if you're a long time viewers, uh, I'm 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 getting tired of my current jobs and my current uh, quote unquote career or industry, like educational industry. I think it's kind of fucking corrupt and it's very fucking bad. Like they're not trying to tell you shit. They're not trying to teach you shit. And uh, I just don't want to be treated differently. You know, like, in, because in here, like, a lot of people think, oh, yeah, speaking English is a skill. Don't get me wrong. I'm very proud of myself. I'm not talking to myself that I'm saying that English is not a skill. English is, like, part of, it will always be the greatest achievement that I've ever done in my whole life. The first greatest achievement that I've ever, ever done in my whole life. I will remember this moment forever, right? But, but. Uh, by only knowing English is not enough, right? Probably it is very special in my country, you know, in a country that doesn't really speak in English that much. You know, I will be very standing out if you want to say that. But that's the point. I don't want to stand out in that way. I don't want to stand out just because, sure, I probably, you know, convey a lot of, you know, complex ideas into actually strong argument that I actually, you can see that I'm actually utilizing English in some level. But that is the thing. I don't want to only do that. I want to do something else, right? And that's the reason why. Also, I also mentioned this before that I I said that I was trying to move to another country and trying to just experience life. And then when I was uh, looking up like the, the the procedure, right? How to get there is really about two ways, right? First of all, you gotta have a girlfriend or or spouse in the other country that can give you the green card. You 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 don't have to really do anything about it, right? The other thing is really about, you know, studying abroad, which costs a lot of money from your uh, original family. They're going to support you. Uh, you probably don't have the, you, you, don't have, you don't have the shit money to do that. So, right. So I don't have the shit money to do that. So, and then the, 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 the final, the, 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 the only option for me that is doable is first of all, it's very cheap. I don't have to really spend a lot of money to get there. And second, it's really about working visa. That's the working visa we're talking about. Like I go there by applying a working visa and by going to any fucking country that I want to go, the pretty much the, the, the pattern that I can see from those uh, application process is that if you want to apply the working visa, you got to have a skill. 
you gotta have a skill set that you, that you want to that, that you can provide into the you know to in their society. You know that is the only way to do that. And I said, all right, I don't uh, do I have any skill? Uh, I can speak. I'm a yapper, and I <laughs> yeah, that's my skill. I'm a yapper, and I, clearly that is not a skill. The a lot of people think that is skill in society, and I necessarily don't think that. I still think, yeah, sure, you can take a lot of time to really just you know speak to yourself or just speaking in general. You can pretty good at you know speaking. Sure, that is that is something. That is something, but that does not make any sort of a you know real practical use. There is. Don't get me wrong. There is right. There's a lot of use. And I can definitely do that. Right. There's a potential career out there. But what I am doing now is really about. Okay, so first of all, we need to get to. We need to get a you know get to other country. The only way to do that is right by applying a specific skill. And now I'm getting a little bit bored. By you know, by purely doing this, I think there's still a lot of time for me. I have a lot of free time in my when I'm not recording a video, and the only way I do the, the only thing that I do is pretty much like immersing myself still in just like an English environment for as long as possible to you know still maintaining and keep improving my English in a very like now I'm kind of heading to a plateau right where I didn't feel I don't feel a lot of sort of a you know. Skyrocketed improvements in my English ability. I felt strongly in the beginning of a couple months when I was learning English. I was during that time. I was like a super fucking. I felt everything was great. I was. I felt like oh my god. I couldn't believe I'm. I'm. This thing is happening. It's literally happening inside of my brain. It was amazing, right? But after that, after like this past two years, I didn't feel as much as possible. So it kind of felt like sure I still gonna do this. Don't get me wrong, I still gonna keep learning this because this is a whole. This is already like a whole lifetime project that I'm gonna do. But now it's more like hitting to a plateau where I have more free time to do anything, to do any, to do something else, right? But purely not English. And I say, all right, the best thing that I can learn. So what? What should I learn? Like, what do I want to learn? And then I was like, how about learning how to program? And then I was like, well, programming that probably involves a lot of math, right? I said, let me Google it. So I, it says, yeah, there is some sort of math involved. And I said, well, how about you just challenge yourself a little bit, right? Make yourself look a little bit dumb, <laughs> you know, in the beginning. You learn when you come to learning new things. I said, yeah, maybe that's the great idea. Maybe you know you want to learn that. And also the reason why I'm learning programming is really about even probably like sure I can apply you know being a teacher to other country but I really just don't like the career anymore I just don't like the job anymore because you know teachers uh you know being a teacher or being a tutor really involves you communicate communicating with other people、uh, don't get me wrong I love communicating with other people that's the best thing that I ever done best decision I ever done to my whole life that's the my greatest hobby ever but you know job is still a job. And when you're communicating with other people in the job, you cannot really communicate freely, hundred percent, right? You cannot really talk about everything that you that's on your mind.、I'm, don't get me wrong, same shit on the YouTube. I couldn't speak certain things. I couldn't speak certain things because、uh, you know there's just something there. You, you have to watch or stuff like that. But in a very big spectrum, I'm not also treating YouTube as my job as well. You know, so this is not my main source of income. And that's why I, I the reason I do this is because I don't want my YouTube channel to really be as you know as my only source of income because therefore I will lose the freedom of expressing whatever that I want myself to express、uh, in my channel. And the only by by doing that is really just learning another skill set that I'm decently good at and that can make a fine living. And also somehow I like it in some way. But this will always be my number one stuff. It's pretty much like just by doing something you hate and then making the money from the thing that you hate, doing something that you like. But the difference now is that I know that you cannot do something that you hate, and then making the money from the thing that you hate and do something that you like. It's not how it works anymore. It's not how it works for me. I could not do anything that I hate to you know to support myself to do something I like. That is the least options. When you're, well, I'm so desperate, but that is not the option for for any time soon. So the only way to do this is like by developing a skill set that can make you some sort of money, but you also feel some sort of a achievement out of it, and then doing something that you like, you know. And what is the something that I like? 
this, you know, lecture, culture, and observing a lot of new information in this language and trying to convey my idea into a word that I like to do. And uh, yeah, oh my God, I, I think I need to have a podcast. <laughs> you know, still, this is a podcast, my own. Imagine by talking to other people, that'll be that'll be way enjoyable. I, I just like I enjoy talking to people, right? But yeah, that's really about you know how I think about these whole things, and it's really about those. That's the whole reason why I'm learning how to code is because I want to learn coding, and then the coding skills that can probably support me to have a job where I I don't have to speak. <laughs> you know, when I'm doing coding, I don't have to speak, and when I don't have to speak, I will have a better energy. And have a better mindset when I actually speak to you, or when I speak to some when I speak something that I actually care about instead of just you know using my stuff because you know in before this it it was me just pure me saying hey I want to speak and how can can I making money by speaking and I found a way to make money by speaking not not on YouTube I'm talking about my my real job being a tutor and then I was like yeah but. It is not really what I think about. It. Um, so I, I just want to, you know, how about let's do something else. I'm, I'm talking about job. I'm talking about something that I do for job for, for making money. It's like, yeah, making something different, man. I, I, right. You got to have a balance. I didn't have a balance before. I spoke in my work and then I have to spoke. I have to speak in front of the camera. And then when I do something that I like, I still have to speak too much speaking. I'm not saying I don't like it. I love speaking, but I want to, you know, allocate my resource of uh you know social battery or income speaking into the right way of speaking which is talking to you guys and making videos you know really enjoying these whole things and also not worrying about oh my god after this i i have to save some energy to, to for the next class i don't want to do that shit you know that's the thing i don't don't want to do and that's why i'm learning coding that's why i'm learning how to code is because because that because I want to do something, I want to have a skill set that doesn't involve me just purely speaking. I just want to shut up for a moment. <laughs> because if I shut up in my work, I will have a better, uh, a pro I will have a better vibe when I sp actually speak. I'm not saying that I don't speak. It's more like I I I, I love speaking. I love speaking too much, <laughs> and I need to tune to myself down a little bit. And the only way by doing that is really you know, learning a new skill set that can support myself. And uh, yeah. That is the reason why I'm learning how to code. Let me see how long we're running. Oh my God, 37 minutes. I still think there's a time because one thing that I want to talk about, which is, uh, you know, in the beginning of the video that I mentioned, uh, uh, what is that? Fuck, I forgot it. Oh yeah, uh, I haven't spoken English for like uh, three days and I feel like, oh my God, man, because, you know, I'm, I was my friend 24 hours. And that's this is the kind of moment where you can see how obsessed I am for 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 you know English is that I haven't spoken English for three three uh, three days and yeah last night that I got bad that I didn't really have a lot of energy to really speak to myself or just speak in general talk to my friends and I didn't really want to make a video and then when I find out about t you know last night and also this morning is that every time when I try to speak right. I felt stuck. I felt like, oh my god, what's wrong with my? You know, that's how that's how easily a language will get demolished if you don't use it for even just three days. You you, you will significantly go significantly go down. Doesn't matter pronunciation or so, like that's the reason why you, like you know native speakers they don't have to worry about that. It's really about like they don't really. They don't have to worry about they have to maintain their language ability every day because, you know, they hardly spend their whole lifetime to do that, so they don't have to worry about that. But for non-native speaker, if they want to maintain the second language that they learn, that they acquire in a very flow, in a very stable level, they have to take a lot of time to maintain that shit. And that is not very, but the, the most valuable resource in your life is time, right? And maintaining the language momentum in your whole lifetime requires insane amount of time. It literally does. It does require a lot of time. And a lot of people, when a lot of my students, they come to me, they say, "Why, man? Like, you know, you, you're you're speaking like this. Like, you know, you're you're like your English is so good." <laughs> I said, "My English is not good." I said, "Your English? No, your English is good." I said, "No, no, it's not good." And there's, there's also like I never encountered people like you. It, like, you know, in my school, they say. 
like what do you mean by that it's not, it's not really about the way you speak english very complicated or something it's exactly the reason why you're speaking english in the most simple term but somehow it's very hard to master i say yeah you, you, you got to just spend a lot of time in in you know in immersing yourself and also practicing and also you know doing the right thing in the, in this language they say oh i couldn't do that i said what what do you mean you couldn't do that you say i, I just don't have a lot of time and i i see the problem now it's really about like that's that's part of the reason why I think you know language learning for me is very easier. It's not really about language learning easier you know, for me. It's more about English is easier for me because I never even bother to learn a, another language. I'm not a, a you know I'm not f- obsessed with language learning. I'm only obsessed with English. That's it, <laughs> right? And that's pretty much the reason why that they may the maiden feel like I'm some sort of a very different from the way they learn. And also, when I say spending a lot of time, they say they don't have a lot of time, and they don't know how much time that they're gonna spend. And I say, well, you know, in the past three years, all I did was just, you know, isolating myself in here or on my phone by purely watching a lot of stuff on, on in English. Not because I want to learn English, but because I just like it that I already understood a little bit, and just by doing that for a long time, and I didn't have a, I didn't have a. I don't have a life besides this. You know, this is my life. So every time when I say you learn something as an occupation, that's fine. But if you learn something as your whole, like that's the whole, like if you find meaningful stuff from the thing that you're learning, that's gonna take over your life. That will become your life, and that's why I'm saying that you will take a lot of time. That, and that's the thing I worry about programming stuff is like well, as well. I don't, I haven't found anything fascinating or anything like that that's the same satisfaction that i got from english and that that is my biggest worry when it comes to learning those things is really about uh you know discipline does not come from you know outside stuff is is only comes from your inner state right oh my god i'm yapping a little bit too much it's already 42 minutes man all right uh I'm gonna see you in the in the next one and uh think about what video i want to make next Probably some other uh, topics, uh, anything like that. But yeah, this is this is the video, and uh, hope you guys enjoy. And I'll see you in the next one.